Dear friends, I am Dr. Mausina. I welcome you all to another video from Curious Vet. So the topic for today is BPH or benign prostatic hyperplasia in dogs and cats. In this video, we will discuss about what is benign prostatic hyperplasia, the etiology, clinical signs, diagnosis and the treatment options. So let's begin. Benign prostatic hyperplasia or BPH is the most common prostatic disorder in intact male dogs. And the etiology is androgenic stimulation or an altered androgen estrogen ratio. So this is a pictorial representation of a reproductive tract in an intact male dog. You can see the location of prostate gland here just behind the bladder. This is another uh, pictorial representation of enlarged prostate. In some dogs, hyperplasia may begin as early as 2.5 years of age and in some cases after 4 years of age. In the dogs developing BPH after 4 years of age, usually cystic hyperplasia tends to develop. Now let's see the clinical signs. Sometimes there might, the, the clinical signs are totally absent. But in most of the cases, uh, we will see the clinical signs like persistent or intermittent hematuria as seen in this picture, hemospermia or hemorrhagic propitial discharge. The other clinical signs usually noticed are uh, painful urination, painful defecation and abnormal walking because of the enlarged prostate. So this is a pictorial representation of uh, normal prostate and enlarged prostate and the location just behind the bladder. So you can see the enlarged prostate which is compressing the urethra in the right picture. It will lead to the clinical sign of painful urination and sometimes it will compress the colon leading to painful defecation, painful or difficult defecation. Now let's move on to the diagnosis of BPH. Diagnosis is suggested by physical and historical findings and a non-painful symmetrically enlarged prostate. So this is a gross specimen of uh, BPH uh, you can see the location of the prostate gland just behind the bladder and this is a symmetrically enlarged prostate and it is a non-painful condition. Radiology can confirm prostatomegaly so this is a lateral view pro uh, in a dog with prostatomegaly in the caudal ventral abdomen enlarged prostate appears caudal to the bladder and having the similar radiographic density and shape of the bladder giving the illusion of a double bladder. Now we will see another x-ray of BPH and the prostate gland which is uh, marked in white arrows is enlarged and the bladder is displaced cranially. Also it is displacing the colon dorsally and indenting it leading to painful and difficult defecation. The enlargement seen here is relatively symmetric with relation to the neck of the bladder. And this is another x-ray. And in this condition, you can see a paraprostatic cyst arising from the prostate gland because of the benign hypertrophy. Uh, note the cranial displacement of urinary bladder by enlarged prostate and the asymmetric enlargement created by the cyst. So this condition is seen usually in dogs which are developing BPH after 4 years of a cystic hyperplasia. And another uh, diagnosis option is ultrasonography. It will show a diffuse, relatively symmetric involvement with multiple diffuse cystic structures. As seen here in the transabdominal radiography, best imaging modality for evaluation of prostate because it allows for evaluation of prostatic parenchyma as well. Both large and small intraprostatic cysts can be seen here in the left and right pictures respectively. Now here this is an inflammation of prostate we are seen by transabdominal uh, ultrasonography and inflammation is represented by yellow arrows showing diffuse and fo diffuse or focal to multifocal increased echogenicity as seen within the parenchyma of the prostatic lobes. Cytologic examination of massage or ejaculate specimen reveals hemorrhage with mild inflammation but without the evidence of sepsis of neo or neoplasia. So this is the cytology findings of uniform and well differentiated epithelial cells suggestive of hyperplasia from fluid aspirated by ultrasound guided 
aspiration definitive diagnosis is only possible by biopsy histologically papillary formations project into the lumen of irregular prostatic acini cystic dilation of glandular elements is relatively common this is an h and d stained specimen in 40x magnification now let's see the treatment options of bph castration is the treatment of choice in male dogs which are not intended for breeding or showing with castration prostatic involution is usually evident within a few weeks and is often complete in several months but in male dogs which are intended for breeding or showing we will go for medical therapy and there are different drugs that can be used one is fenasteride fenasteride at a dose of 1 mg per kg per oral for 16 to 21 weeks has resulted in 50 to 70 percentage reduction prostatic hypertrophy in a study with no negative effect on semen quality so fenasteride cause no negative effect on semen quality another low dosage 0.1 to 0.5 can be used uh, which is convenient for dosing of 1 mg capsule in dogs weighing 10 to 50 kg prostatic hypertrophy returns if fenasteride administration is discontinued so that is a negative side it needs continuous medication because once it is discontinued prostatic hypertrophy returns Another drug is osateron acetate it is a testosterone analog available in Europe with potent anti androgenic activity and the dose rate is 0.25 mg per kg to reduce the clinical signs so finasteride and osateron uh, acetate can be used as medical therapy Another drug is subcutaneous implant containing GnRH agonist desloralin and it is labeled for reversible castration in male dogs and the difference between uh, this drug to finasteride and osateron is spermatogenesis and fertility are arrested during the use of this drug uh, during the Im- uh, implant period of activity Another treatment is met magnetic resonance guided ultrasonic ablation used on limited number of dog and demonstrated some success pulsed electromagnetic field therapy resulted in a significant reduction in prostatic volume without altering semen quality testosterone concentrations or libido so that's all about bph so benign prostatic hyperplasia is the most common prostatic disorder and the clinical signs are intermittent hematuria hemospermia hemorrhagic preputial discharge painful urination defecation etc the cause is uh, androgenic stimulation or altered androgen estrogen ratio and diagnosis is by radiology ultrasonography cytology and biopsy the confirmation is by biopsy and uh, the castration is the treatment of choice other medical therapy with finasteride and osateron acetate can be used so if the video is informative and useful please like it and share it with your friends comment your suggestions if you are new to this channel and not subscribed yet please subscribe and click the notification bell so that you get notified every time i upload a video see you soon with another video bye